Can an employer terminate an employee in Qatar without giving him or her gratitude? Tune in to this video. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if this is your first time to come across this channel, by the way, consider subscribing to this channel. Support this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit the notification bell. It will be the only way that you will be updated as we upload the new videos. For a returning subscriber, Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and if you are new to this channel, consider supporting this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to give up a thumbs up, don't forget to share and putting a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you want me to talk about in the video, uh, what you want me to talk about, then I will definitely get back to you as soon as possible. We are still, we, we want to look at gratitude in Qatar. Most of you have been um, really confused of what gratitude, what are your entitlement and what is your right as a person and what is the right of your employer as regarding to what you call gratitude. Remember, gratitude in Qatar, when you look at gratitude, we are looking at a small portion of amount your employer is supposed to give to you as you complete your service with that employer. Remember, most of the employees, most of uh, people here, most of the people come in this country or come under what you call um, work, work, what we call work, sponsorship or work visas where you're being sponsored by someone at one or the other. What does it mean at a given period of time? It means that as per the government, there's some portion of uh, uh, appreciation, we call it appreciation that is supposed to be given to you after you complete your service with that employer. Depending on how long you signed with that employer, maybe for two years, for unlimited five years, depending on your contract, you all know your contracts that you have with them. Uh, if you successfully finish that work, what kind of portion is supposed to be given? And remember, if you completed, if you actually completed two years, with uh, your employer or your sponsor, you are given three weeks of your basic salary. Of your last basic salary, that is per every year. So definitely, that is what is supposed to give you. And if you've completed your, your with your employer or your sponsor for five years and above, then you are given what you call or you are paid uh, a portion of four weeks of your, your, your basic salary as your gratitude at the end of it. And remember, the conscious of the conscious is just an agreement between it will be an agreement between your employer and your the employee. We are the employee, depending on our bits you've done the work at a given period of time. And remember, everyone in Qatar is, is entitled to gratitude as the employer, as the the employee. You are entitled to that gratitude, provided you've done all your bits and finish your contract in that time. And some instances, even if you've not finished your contract and you've only moved for one year out of your contract, there is still also a fraction that your employer has to give you as according to the law as a token of appreciation apart from repatriating you back to your country at the same time. But again, the question is that can the employer terminate the employee without gratitude? Yes or no? But definitely when, when we have to say it, it has to be yes because remember, uh, remember much as you have the rights or much as the articles that duplicate the rights of the employees in the labor laws in Qatar, but still also there are rights that govern what you call the employer. The employer also has rights that can enable him to infringe you in one way or the other, uh, uh, to infringe you in one way or the other. And for example, when we definitely come to discuss about gratitude, there are some situations whereby you term your, 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 your employer can terminate you without even giving gratitude depending on what kind of scenario that has existed or what what has caused that mostly most of the time things that may deter your employer to give you gratitude may be a little bit of maybe misconduct in one way when you tend to disagree when the employer and the employee disagree in one way or the other so you try to bulge or get off the contract terms at one moment of time so what i have to let you know that most of the times that we think that we have more rights than the employer yes we do have the rights they do have the rights but so many times people want to tend to put in mind is understanding what we call the labor acts or the labor laws in this country probably it will be a better idea if you just peruse through or have a look at through some of these labor laws that to enable you understand exactly what it definitely means for you uh, and what are you entitled in that way so back to the question 
Yes, when you say that according to the Article 61 of the Labor Law, uh, or what you call the, uh, the Labor Law, the Qatar Labor Law, there are situations whereby your employer himself may not give you no gratitude or may even terminate you without even giving you a notice. He's allowed as per the Labor Law. But anyway, the employer may dismiss you without payment of your gratitude. It's actually going to depend well, it's going to depend on situations and we look at such kind of situations one of the situations is that when you are violated or when you violate what you call the written instructions uh, pertaining the work safety for example you, you, you the employee you violate what you call the workers the employers instructions pertaining the work instruction then he may dismiss you or he may uh, get off you without giving you gratitude. That is by the law. Then still what we call the employer's intoxication while at work. What you call what we mean is the intoxication is that you talk heel and hell, heel and hell about your employer. Most of the times we do talk about uh, our employers because of frustrations and why the frustrations? Because our expectations uh, exceeded or uh, our ex expectations exceeded what we see on the ground or what we see the reality. So you find out getting disappointed and one more the other and you talk heal and heal. Yes, fine, we have to talk about heal and heal. It's, it's better you talk it in your personal mind and you know what you must move to do other than just having it in a very big crowd because you never know who is next to you and who is going to be next to you or who is that person next to you. You never know. Maybe the person that it's going to record you up and text that. So you probably for the upset of your employer, he may not give you your gratitude. He has that he has that clause under uh, Article 61 and Article 61 of the Catalan Balloon. Then still we say another one is that disclosure of what you call secret information regarding the employer, then probably he may not give you what you call your gratitude because he thinks that you you're putting you're trying to block or you're trying to put his business down. So he has the right not to give you. But that is under still under our uh, uh, proven evidence that he has to take that in mind. So hope I've tried to share something for you for a person who asked that question. Hope it is well answered and fully answered. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Support this channel. Support makes creation. Support makes by hitting that notification button and subscribing. If you see the video, it's very helpful. Give them a thumbs up and comment, share, and always be happy more than buying to get back. See you again in the next video. It's makes from the next creation.